channel and today I'm unboxing one of my favorite book boxes, Al Poe's Books. Why is it one of my favorites? Because it's for my grandkids. That's all that needs to be said. I always let you guys see first. Is it pretty? I can't tell. Alright, I'm going to turn it around here. They always have like construction paper fillers in here, which is nice. And I'm going to set this off to the side actually. So we got a little note, enjoy Al Post Books January subscription. So this is a January subscription box. Pull out the first one, the almost terrible play date. Written and illustrated by Richard Torrey. And there's a picture of two little kids on the back. What do you want to play? And then the book in uh, the US is $16.99. I like the fact, my uh, grandson will like the fact that there is a dragon. And my granddaughter will like the fact that there is a, I guess, a queen or a princess. What you want to read, I want to read a book about the queen of the universe who lives in a castle. And the boy says, I want to read about a giant dinosaur that smashes stuff. Well, I want to read about a frog that magically turns into a pony. I want to read about a flying dragon race car. Hey, I bet this book has all of those things. Let's turn the page and find out. Now I want to find out. I'll just show you the inside here. Well, I'm excited to read this little book. I think both my grandkids will like it too because it has a variety of stuff. It has something for both of them. Oh, we've got another one. This is a pretty book, A Gift for Mama by Linda Raven Lodding, illustrated by Allison J. Can Oscar find the perfect gift for his mama? Aww. Oscar sets out with a single coin to find the perfect gift for his mother, and he spots it at once, a beautiful yellow rose. But when he meets an artist, Oscar trades the rose for a paintbrush. And when he meets an orchestra conductor, he trades the paintbrush for a sheet of music. The bustling streets are full of interesting people and delightful possible presents. And Oscar trades one gift for another and another and another. By what he find, but what he finds by the end of the day is even more precious. Simple kindness is at the heart of this enchanting, gloriously illustrated tale. Oh, I can't wait to read this. Let's just open a page here and take a look. So the illustrations are really nice. If you take off the book cover, which my grandkids typically do, it's, it's beautiful. Beautifully illustrated. The front's really pretty, very detailed, and the back is really nice as well. So I'll look forward to reading this book with my grandkids. And they're coming over this week, so maybe I'll get a chance to. And there's always three books in here, and we've got one more book. Those fun, silly books. The Secret Life of Figgy Mustardo. Figgy Mustardo. This was originally $17.99. I'll take the cover off, and you can see it's really well done. All right, here's what the book jacket says. Figgy Muscardo loves his family, especially George. He wants to go everywhere George goes, but dogs can't go to school or to the pizza palace or to the go-kart track. Figgy stays home alone with nothing to do but wait and wait and wait, or does he? While the family's away, Figgy eats his way to adventures that rock the neighborhood. Everyone comes and everyone plays. Everyone except the Mustardos, especially George, until the day the Mustardos discover Figgy's secret life and how much Figgy means to them. The pictures inside are really pretty. I'll just show you one. I'll just open it to a page. Well, I'm excited to read this book. I like this picture on the back of the little boy and the dog. Very nice. This will be fun. And the book is written by Marsha Wilson Chall and illustrated by Allison Friend. Let's see if anything else is in the box. I can, oh, there's something. What is this? Oh, it's a reading challenge. Read a book about a dog, read with a friend, read outside, read a new book, read to your favorite toy, read a fantasy, read a scary story, a book about a favorite hobby, read on vacation, and it goes on and on. That actually might be a fun thing for my grandson to do. He's getting more and more into reading. He's seven years old. And he could check these off as he goes. I think I'll give this to Caleb. I think he'll like that. If that's it for Al Post Books, any information you might need, I will put either within the video or in the description box below. But if you have grandkids, 
I suggest this box. It's really a fun box. And the kids just love to come over and read these interesting new stories that I seem to get monthly. You guys take care and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.